signal from Monica. I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, <laughs> maybe it wasn't the signal, but uh, NYH2O <laughs> is an organization working here in the city to try to educate people about this and convince community boards around the city to ban this activity, not only in the New York City watershed, but throughout New York State. Uh, I'll, I'll say, say that, so I'll say I'm done there. Thank you very much. Uh, expressing your outrage and your concern about what is a major threat uh, to drinking water. Uh oh. Uh, 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 to all the people in the state of New York. Uh, last year, my office introduced into the assembly a, a two-year moratorium on the issuance of any natural gas drilling permit anywhere in the state of New York. More recently, my office has introduced a bill, 8748 in the assembly, which would ban all natural gas drilling in the New York City watershed, in the, in the Delaware River Basin, within five miles of the watershed, and in any other location across the state that where there would be a threat to drinking water supplies. So it's a comprehensive regulatory uh, uh, piece of legislation to protect drinking water for all the people of the state of New York. Uh, it is now in the Environmental Conservation Committee. I do not have a Senate sponsor, which might actually be a good thing. We will need a Senate sponsor sooner or later. But um, this is a very important issue. Uh, I was actually visited uh, in my office by Chesapeake uh, Oil Company, which, is, which has 4,000 acres uh, under lease uh, to, uh, within the New York City watershed area. Uh, they actually said they want to get out of uh, the New York City watershed area, but want, of course, to drill in other parts of the state uh, with the process known as hydrofracking, which is a major threat uh, to uh, water supplies, uh, not just in New York State, but across the entire nation. So I want to thank all of you for coming out. It's a very, very critical and important issue, uh, which we need to work on for, for many years to come in order to assure uh, environmental protection for the people. Thank you. speakers. Um, I'm just happy to be here to announce that I'm going to be introducing a resolution in the City Council to ban the practice of horizontal hydrofracking anywhere in New York City. Yeah. 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 We have to recognize that while we need a balancing act between getting new and cheaper energy, that we have to protect the environment. I don't think anybody can deny the fact that global warming is here, that we need to change policy. And I don't think the people of this state would mind paying a little bit more for energy if it meant protecting the environment. And protecting our water supply is key. As was said before, if we don't have water, we have nothing. We need to change the way we do business in the city and in the state. And I think what we're doing here today is a major step forward. So I support uh, Senator Brennan's legislation, and we should tie that into my resolution here in the city council. Let's send a message to the businesses in this state and the rest of the state legislature. This cannot go forward. We need to do the right thing and not come up with a procedure that can get a natural gas that doesn't help for the environment. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the New York State Council for Food Policy recognized that, quote, agriculture is a critically important industry to the state providing significant environmental, health, and economic benefits. Uh, in 2007, agriculture generated nearly $5 billion in economic activity. Three of the top agricultural counties in the state, Genesee, Cayuga, and Wyoming, are in the region that encompasses the Marcellus gas shale. Uh, some of the chemicals the gas and oil industry uses to extract the gas are hormone disruptors. Uh, gas drilling entities have already brought havoc in many states, Colorado, Texas, Pennsylvania, and Wyoming. Uh, this contamination of our water, soil, and air has affected uh, even 
next door in Pennsylvania where some people turn on their faucets and if they put a lighter next to the water, it ignites. Uh, now these gas drillers uh, want to do this in New York State. Uh, if the fossil fuel industry has its way, 14 million New Yorkers, 9 million in the metropolitan area, and 5 million in the southern tier of New York State uh, will be affected uh, with irreversible pollution. Uh, per Assembly Member uh, Jim Brennan's proposed legislation, the process used uh, for natural gas extraction, referred to as hydrofracking, uh, utilizes chemicals that are often toxic, that are non-biodegradable, and that are virtually impossible to remove once they enter the natural environment. We must ban this form of gas drilling everywhere in the state yeah. so every New Yorker can drink and eat food that is not riddled with highly toxic chemicals. Uh, so I'm going to uh, cut my remarks short because <laughs> the rain. And thank you very much, H2O New York, for uh, holding this event. Yeah. 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 We'll tell you that hydraulic fracturing for natural gas is safe, that it doesn't harm water supplies, that it doesn't pollute the air, and that it doesn't harm your public health. They are lying. Now, you all probably have a phrase in the back of your mind it's called clean burning natural gas, right? You can hear it ringing in your ears. How did that phrase get there? The phrase got there because of the industry's PR, their multi-million dollar PR campaign. Clean burning natural gas is a falsehood. Clean burning natural gas is a PR campaign to, to, to distract the general public from how dirty it is to extract this gas from the ground. It pollutes the water. I've seen this with my own eyes. It, it, it causes disastrous health effects from brain lesions to cancer to respiratory ailments. And all of those things can be seen in the film that I'm making at waterunderattack.com. Sign up there. I don't know who that guy is, but I think it's awesome. Um, and and um, they, this industry is good at lying. They're also good at creating studies like that of the Groundwater Protection Council um, that are funded by them that say that this doesn't pollute. So you gotta don't underestimate the size of this enemy um, and how amazingly nefarious they can be in, in twisting the science around um, and attacking bills that are just trying to do the very simple things of protecting the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Clean Water Act, and the Clean Air Act, all of which they're exempt from in the 2005 Energy Bill. So just make sure that when you when 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 the Pickens plan comes at you or these ads come at you in the TV, you realize what that is. That's dollars that has nothing to do with the environment, that has nothing to do with making uh, our planet better for global warming, or any of the things that they're going to say, say to you. It's a PR campaign to, uh, to keep us addicted to fossil fuels instead of moving to renewables that we need. All right, thanks very much. Total ban, all right. Uh, board member and public member who was chair of the Environment Committee for 14 years. We had the watershed as one of our prime issues during that time. I'm working with MYH2O on our camp community board campaign. We have gone to about 20 boards so far in all five boroughs. Not one single one has turned us down. Every one has come up with a banning resolution for hydraulic fracturing. Hydraulic fracturing asks us to trade in our drinking water and our arable land forever for natural gas and the profit from that will go to the companies that are doing the drilling, including foreign companies. 30% of Chesapeake Energy is owned by Norway. So, you know, we have to get this across. This is all lies. We have to make people realize that this is a trade we cannot do. All right. Thanks so much.